You have shown me not only your strength, but your spirit and bonds as well. You are more than qualified to receive the spiritual power of wind. You speak of spirit? Bonds? <laughs> Surely you have noticed, Dezel, that which is attached to your being at this very moment. It is not something that you should deny. You felt the voices of your companions and acted of your own will without any need for words. Are we done with this yet? Get it over with. Do you have something against developing true friendships? Why? There's something very important that I have to do. You should have picked up on that by now. And it is with true friendship that many obstacles may be surmounted. That you have reached this shrine, overcome the trial, and now stand here at this very altar serves as testament of that fact. <sighs> now then, let us offer a prayer. To the young wind seraph, and also to the young shepherd, what awaits you on the path ahead, none can say. Heartbreak, redemption, endless possibilities. Never lose the guiding light that will lead you safely to the end of your journey. Yes. Light, huh? So then, Shepherd Soray, may the light shine always on your journey. Thank you, Wardell. How are you feeling? Okay? Yeah. Hmm? I just wanted to thank you. Huh? Dazzle, you mustn't push yourself too hard. <sighs> hey, at least you got to do something out there. There's no need to stay here. Let's go. <sighs> are you alright? The power isn't affecting you, is it? I'm fine, but thanks for worrying about me. We've obtained all four spiritual powers. Think we're ready for Heldolf? Well... No way to tell until we try, right? Yeah, but first, we gotta track him down. How? He hasn't exactly been mailing us postcards. We know where he was. Why not start there? The battlefield. Works for me.
Delivery confirmed. You Sparrow Feathers definitely know how to secure quality goods. Now, about our next order. Sorry, but something else has come up, actually. We hope to do business with you again, though. Felice, Talfrin. Boss, what perfect timing. Work? Yeah, we got... Hey! We got something we should discuss elsewhere. Come on over here. All right. We were approached by a secretary from the Rolands government. It looks like a job offer. What? Is this secretary the steward to the Emperor? That's right. Plus, we got some juicy info, too. It seems that the Queen of Rolands is making moves to adopt the child of her late brother. Interesting. The current Emperor is the son of the previous one, but the Queen wasn't the mother. Right. And she once conspired with her own son in an attempt to shift the line of succession to him. You remember how that all worked out. You can bet the Secretary hasn't forgotten either. Sounds fine. I'll handle it. You're taking the job? You realize this client is our sworn enemy. Remember the creed of the Scattered Bones. If the job itself is a necessary one, it doesn't matter who the client is. That's what we stand for, isn't it? I suppose it is. Gosh, boss. I don't know what we'd do without you. And that's why I'm the boss. <laughs> anyway, how should we approach the client? We'll sneak into Pendrago Castle. Seriously? The client's probably too skittish to come meet with us personally, and a proxy won't do at all. I need to judge the client for myself. Got it. If we're headed for the castle, I better call up everyone. Don't worry. I'm going with her. There are some things a shepherd can't ignore. Huh? You sure? Is this okay, boss? Rose, it's looking like the Imperial family has somehow gotten mixed up with Hellions. We should go by ourselves. Talfrin, Felice. We'll go by ourselves. It'll be easier to get around that way. All right. Take care out there, boss. Saray, you watch over our boss now, you hear? Will do. I feel kind of guilty, getting you all wrapped up in the affairs of the Scattered Bones. It's really okay. I should be there for you. All the more so if Hellions might be involved. Finally, it's time. Let's get going to Pendrago. Dazzle, you're really going through with this? Better late than never. What's this about? You don't need to know. Oh, come on! Just tell me! Hey, cut it out! Get the hell off me! What an adorable couple. Hey, can it, Pixie? Let's get moving. Dazzle, are there really Hellions in the Roland's Imperial family? You're slow to catch on. Go see for yourself. Hey. Yes, Saray. I know. It's cool, guys. I love being kept in the dark. Sorry. I promise just a little bit longer and we'll be able to explain. All right, if you say so.
sous vide. Somehow I'm guessing this ain't a coincidence. Just a word of friendly advice. Leave your opponent this time to me. Don't mess with me, Zavid. I'm not messing with you, especially not now. You can listen to me or not, your choice. But I'm handling this either way. Like hell! Fair enough, Dezel. But just so you know, there's two people left that I've still got a score to settle with. And I didn't save these last two shots of mine, just to throw them away. What are you even talking about? Mickey boy, when a man says he means business, he means business. Don't ever forget that! Now! Come at me! It's on! This is ridiculous! Too late now! Here goes! You interfere with my plans. Gonna have to beat this ass first before you can say that. So right, I can't this. Don't you dare try to keep me out. Try this out. Lions have I can't lose. Here I go. One, two, three.
better at this than you used to be. Hey, if you can't stop this fool from killing the Hellions, then try using this. Its power can stop malevolence from binding with people. Got it. I'll give you my very last shot. You can pay me back later. Why do this? <laughs> Hell if I know. <sighs> Go on ahead. Zavid needs a nap. are low on him. Elf. We'll have to wait for nightfall to sneak into the castle. Why don't we chill at the inn for a bit?
here they are. Gold. If it ain't the boss! Welcome, welcome! Lunar! But you look like... a Hellion! <laughs> oh dear, look at that face! You're scaring me, boss! We don't have time to toy with the likes of you. Come on! I'll settle this right here and now. <laughs> what exquisite anger! It makes me so... hungry! Here he comes! My god, the malevolence to a myth is incredibly strong! You mean, it's just like with the Cardinal before? <sighs> Don't think about anything else until we beat it! Got it! Forward surge! I'll give up! This is it over! I will spread it! I'll give up! Sure work hard. Uh, no, compared to what's <laughs> Damn it! Still not enough? It's the end of the line, Lunar. No! Got it! What is this feeling? Watch out! There's someone else here! Might you refrain from acting out of turn? That voice! Shut up! Don't interfere with me! Foolish, reckless fox. Your role was to lead them on, if you recall. If you act recklessly and provoke his anger, what will we do then? <sighs> Wait! This wasn't the plan, but I'm flexible. Whoa! What the... Around and show yourself! 
<laughs> What's your hurry? Relax. This is just the opening act. I'll relax when you're good and dead. Dazzle, do you know whose voice that is? How could I forget? That's who I've been after for so long. What? Haven't you noticed, Lila? I have. There is no malevolence within this domain. Meaning that whoever's generating this isn't a Hellion. What could this mean? Enough, all right? Come on! Lunar! What is going on? Rather productive for an opening act. What splendid anger you've shown me, girl. If it should blossom into hatred. Oh, but how happy he will be. Who is she? I've waited so long. Indeed, the time is ripe. For both of us. Wait, Dazzle! She's not a Hellion! Like I give a damn. You turn my friends into Hellions and drag the name of the Wind Riders through the mud? What are you talking about, Dazzle? <laughs> Do you mean to say that the girl still doesn't know? J Splendid. Oh, how splendid! <laughs> the perfect scene has been set. Jessel! No! Let me go! This moment is what I've been living for! Everyone stop! This whole thing is wrong! Saray, Dazzle, what's going on? Dear, dear girl, let me fill you in. In a desperate effort to preserve and continue the Windriders, who were his last concrete connection to his dead comrade, this Seraph abused your remarkable resonance to periodically commandeer your body. Steering you all into the darkness, recreating the Wind Riders as an Assassin's Guild. <clears throat> then, in his quest to kill a Hellion, he set his sights on the power of the Armatus, using you over and over as a vessel to enact his vengeance. It was all right, he thought. It was all to avenge his friend. I do wonder if you agree. <sighs> That's right. And to take my revenge against you, I would do it all again in a heartbeat! That's enough, creepy little girl, for now. Yeah, there's something wrong about all of this. Let's get out of here! I think not. She became a Hellion? Why? If words alone won't make you remember... Well, like I said, I'm flexible. So, you show your true colors at last. Dang it! Make them kill me! That's the only reason I live! Oh, how lost you are in the delusion of self-affirmation. What are you saying? It's quite pitiful, really. Though I do understand how you got like this. Desired. Back then, how and why did. Do you lose your friend after killing a Hellion? What happens to its malevolence? Are you really so sure you want this to be your vengeance? Shut up! Try and remember. My doing that you lost your, your friend. Why is it you're so attached to the Wind Riders? What is it you're truly after? I've had enough of your crap. Not.
lost, aren't you? How poignant. Like you'd suddenly turned into a Hellion. Precisely. So for the record, the Hellion was real. Lila, use the authority of the Prime Lord to stop Desmond. I can't. Someone has broken the path. Can that even be done? Not usually. It can't be done from the Subdoid's side. My, my, this is getting interesting. Tell me what it is you're after. There is something you should know, Shepard. What? Let me show you exactly what mischief your Sarah friend has wrought. Ready? It's over. Ready? All he did was merely give his blessing. That's all. But not every blessing of the Seraphim is one that brings fortune to the people. Finally! Finally, I can kill you! Die! I really, really enjoy traveling with them. We're so lucky. Yeah. I'm truly grateful. And of course, I want to bring the Wind Riders under Rolens's wing. You're the greatest in the land. But engagement to you, Prince Conan? It's like a dream. I'm sorry to see our journey end, but all's well that ends well. No. I don't want this to end. Don't let up out there! Go! Prince Conan! The captain is missing! Get away from her right now! <laughs> Who are you to order me around? He's... he's already a Hellion! Huh? Who are you talking to? You all smell so... so delicious! It's driving me wild! How could he have completely turned into a Hellion in such a short amount of time? Your Highness, what is this nonsense about us killing the first Imperial Prince? The traitor scum are here! A trap, huh? You sick lunatic! How can this be? It appears that Brad, the leader of the Wind Riders, has murdered the Prince. He is already in custody of the Pendrago City Guard. All other Wind Riders are likewise under arrest. 
Understand? It's all because Prince Conan became a Hellion, and at the urging of his Hellion greed, he sought to eliminate all hindrances. And by now, I imagine that you've already guessed what made him a Hellion. Have you not? Him. I might be willing to pardon you, at least, if you'll agree to be mine. What? <laughs> oh, come now. You'd be the kept woman of the heir to the throne! A greater honor does not exist. <sighs> Why you? Come on! of your blessing. Do you have any idea what people call those with this kind of power? Angels of death. It was <laughs> all my fault. <laughs> all my fault. Looks like someone finally remembers his past. Rose! Jezel! Move it! <laughs> and now the real fun starts, Shepard. Pay close attention. Dazzle, don't move. Got it? Why you? You mustn't! Rose is horribly wounded. Even if you purify the malevolence, she doesn't have the strength to handle the burden. You mustn't attack now. Rose will... If we don't do anything, Rose will become a Hellion. Except her wounds will kill her even before that happens. A Shepherd is faced with difficult choices sometimes. Isn't that right? Better decide quickly, Shepherd. Your darling comedian doesn't have long. Be silent! I spent all this time preparing. Sorry. Listen. Dessel, don't push yourself. Just listen to me. We have to sever the bond between Rose and the Hellion. Even for the Shepherd, that would be nothing short of a miracle. It's impossible. Sorry. <laughs> Hand me that thing you cut from Savid. It can fire strength itself, right? And I shall be that strength. I shall be your attack. What do you mean? Even as he is absorbed into the Hellion, 
will become an attack with a will of its own. He'll find the bond between Rose and the Hellion and sever it without hurting her body. But that's just suicide! If I can summon up the last reserves of my strength and merge them with the power stored in this one remaining bullet, I can stay myself long enough to break the bond while leaving Rose untouched. Saray, neither Rose nor I can afford to waste any more time. <laughs> you understand, don't you? Jessel? No! Counting on you. Don't mess this up! I'm so sorry. It was me. I caused you, the Windriders, everyone to suffer. It's all my fault. That's what was bugging you? I suppose from the outside it looked like we were suffering. But as far as I'm concerned, these have been the happiest years of my life. Five years ago, when everything went pear-shaped, we could have been tossed to the winds. But instead, we got to travel again together as the scattered bones and the sparrow feathers. I was so happy. In fact, I'm grateful to you. Really. Hey, come on. There's got to be more you want to say. I'm useless. In the end, I wasn't good for a damn thing. But I can say I did one thing right. Just one. And that one right thing made everything else worthwhile. I'm eternally grateful to you too, Rose. Thank you. Yeah! Tell Saray and the others that it wasn't all bad, romping around those ruins with all those nutballs. I will. And if they get bummed out about this, tell them, hey, I thought you had good to do in the world. Keep moping and crying, and I'll chain you up so tight you can't even breathe. And then, give them a good kick in the ass for me. Yeah. Good luck out there. Keep on keeping on. Yeah! Rose! Oh, thank goodness! So, how does it feel? What do you think, Shepard? To be as infatuated with someone as he once was? Is it not right that Seraphim, whose blessings only cause misfortune, should not be allowed to exist? Was not his very existence evil to the core, and deserving of extermination? LIES! You've got quite a bark, girl. Those are some plucky words from one who once sought to kill the Shepherd for the same reasons. <laughs> who are you anyway? I am Simone. Like him, a wretched, pitiable Seraph, burdened with countless sins. 
<sighs> and now, Exeunt. Wait! I suggest you make time to grieve. I told everyone to meet here tomorrow morning. Sometimes it's best to be alone for a while. Thanks, Miklio. Saray, don't worry about it too much. <sighs> I need a bit of a walk myself. Dazzle's death, his shameful acts, and the things Simone said. Perhaps they're all things the Shepherd has to accept in order to quell the Lord of Calamity. I'm just not sure how to feel about it all. I was thinking you should quit. What? Just hear me out. I used to think that when the Shepherd was getting crushed and overwhelmed by his duty or by his destiny, that it was something that you could just up and quit. Until yesterday, that is. Things are different now. For Dezel's sake, if nothing else, I want to find the answers. That's right. It isn't even some feeling of obligation so much as... I just want to know, in the hope that we won't make the same mistakes again. So that's why I no longer think you should quit. We definitely have to find some answers. Right. And it isn't just the Shepherd's duty either. This journey is something we, all of us, need to own. That's true. Thank you. There's no need for thanks. I just said how I truly feel. <laughs> 